Hey, we're up here at Bartlett Lake and I'm doing something different today, guys. Crappie fishing. Got You got one on? Oh my gosh, already. Okay, hang on a minute. Damn. We've, go and grab them over here and I'll just kind of, probably should net these suckers, huh? Oh, you got four pound line. Ooh, that's a nice one. So we've located some crappies. Oh, 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 oh. there you go. Located some crappies over here in this cove and we started catching them. This is the black nose they put in here about three or four years ago, but just a nice size crappie like this, you know, good, good eating size. So we're just gonna let him go. This is my guest today is uh, Phil. And Phil has been catching a few crappies up here and uh, he's got a few tricks that I haven't heard of that you do, so. Well, yeah, here lately, it just seems like you're gonna have to find the trees and they're gonna have to get right down or the top schools. of the trees. Yeah. Yeah, or I mean, the schools, yeah. There is schools, but I've been targeting the trees and uh, just fishing right into the structure and the lighter colors have been the, the ticket here lately, although it you just gotta experiment. So, what did we do with that little jar of your secret? You know how I have my yellow dye? He's got a secret. Where's your They're little secret? Crappy niblets. Go ahead and you put them up. I did. All right. We're going to need this because without them, we can't catch the crappies. So let me turn the boat so that uh, we're like this. Let's show them what how we do this. So these are just power power bait, and they call it a crappie nibbler niblet, and it's just like a piece of cheese or it's real soft so we just take and they stink really good don't they yes they do so we just have this on and you just put this right on the end of the hook here now i've never heard of this or seen this and he just got little tiny bass assassins is all he's got on here this is a 1 16th ounce that's a 16th ounce jig right. with a two inch bobby garland bobby garland yeah so you guys can see that real clear and he's fishing real light line, I'm fishing eight pound test. Right. So grab yours, set yours up. Um, when we came in here, I saw a bunch of them back over here by the rocks. There's a couple trees out here in the middle of this cove, small ones, but they're, they're holding some. And it doesn't take much of a tree to hold these fish, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda get back over where the fish are. Well, here's some right here. <laughs> right down there. Here's a little tree right here. It doesn't have to be much, but you just gotta use your graph to find the fish. Now I'm using a hummingbird, and I have it split screen, a, uh, the down image and the regular 2D sonar, uh, half and half. So, Keith, is there any way you could climb up here and just look at this graph? Be real careful. Now take a picture of the graph right there. Go way down there and look at this, folks. That's good. Look at this. These are all fish right there. And that's all fish right there. So you can see it's 12 feet deep. It's 82 degrees. Back off just a little. Yeah, and those, those are all the two, the uh, down scan. So, so anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. So all I gotta do is find the tree and bingo, you know, or we could just troll through the crappies. Sometimes you can just drop your crappie jig like you just kind of did right back you know, into the school of fish and we could catch them that way. So there you go. All right, let's get back out where that one tree was and see if we can go find that. There's one right there. Well, this one feels a little bit bigger. You want a net? Yeah, grab the net. It's, it's, this is a, not, a lot nicer. Instead of using, four, you know, four pound test or something, go ahead and come on up here, Phil, and net this. Can you see that fish down there? Um, Keith, that's a nice crappie. I don't know how big that is, but it's up in the pound and a half range or two pound range, so it's a nice one. Woo! I ah, look, folks, look at that. Man. Oh, great. That wasn't too cool. I hate dropping them on the carpet. Man. Boy. They don't have uh, teeth, so they're just like the bass, but that's a nice one. Nice, nice fat crappie. This is a black crappie, right? Yes. It's not a black nose crappie, Correct. but just a regular black crappie. So this is what we're catching. They're pretty good size, good eating. Uh, we're just kind of catching them released today because uh, 
Goodbye, guy. Swim away. There you go. Perfect. Well, let's find that tree again. Or, or uh, as Keith showed you on the uh, graph, th that was a school to crappie that we saw where you all, they're all stacked on top of each other. So uh, I'm gonna stick a, a uh, niblet, crappie niblet. And it only takes one of these. And you just slide it right on like that. But it probably should keep these in the shade because they're getting a little soft, <laughs> right? So, and another thing I've been doing behind this back, dipping it. See the little tail chartreuse on there? See that? That's what I've been doing. So I don't know if it helps or not. Uh, okay. All right, we ready? Here we go. Let me find the, oh, here's some. I know that tree's like over on your side back there. I just saw a bunch of fish here. I don't, they could be, you catch bass doing this too, guys. I mean, you never know what you're gonna catch, a bass or a crappie, so. So there's a million crappie jigs to use. I mean, there's curly tails, there's, there's grubs, there's, I mean, I bought a whole bunch at Phoenix Fishing. He has a really good supply. You said you bought some of yours like at Sportsman? Uh, some at Sportsman's, but I get a lot at Bass Pro. Bass Pro has a good selection. They have a very good selection. They right. uh, have all the different colors and different sizes. And Because either these two inch baby shad, Bobby Garland's are great, or those little inch and a half bass assassins. Right, that's what we're using, bass assassins, right? No, these right? are Bobby Garland. Oh, they're ba Barley, Bobby Garland? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yep, you can see how little they are. We've, he's got a different color, I got a different color. Uh -huh. And they've been hitting both colors, so, you know, we're pretty good at that. So, let's just kind of troll around and uh, let's find another one. So, th this is kind of the wrong time build to come out, right? I mean, it's, it's, the crappies are spawned already, yeah, it's correct? A, it's a post-spawn bite right now. So they, they're they done just like the bass. They're going down deeper. Could be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and, feet. And as the summer progresses, they'll go deeper. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we're, we, we've caught some in 12 feet. We've caught some in 17, 16. So we haven't, there he is. You gonna swing them in? Okay. Just a nice little one, huh? Just a little chunk. Yeah. Not great big, but that'd be a good eater. So, yeah, let him go and we'll just, uh, uh, you know what, two months ago, they stocked 15,000 little ones though, just little tiny ones. And they were here. the black nose, weren't they? they? No, they stocked those three few years ago. Oh, really? Uh, four, four years ago, three or four years, and that's the black nose. These were just the normal black crappie. So uh, they were only this big, three inches. Mm. So they might be that size. I don't know how fast they grow. So yeah. uh, anyway, uh, let's get set up. I got to... The wind's kind of blowing us, so every time we catch one, I guess I could, I'll hit the spot lock and we'll just hold it there. Because there's one tree that's really good over here, if I can get back to it and uh, catch it. So let's bait, bait up and get back over. So you got another one, Krupp? Another one on, Phil? Um, I what do you got on? on but they don't bass. Feel, oh, you got a little bass. Yeah. We were just talking about that, that we get a lot of these little bass on here while we're fishing for crappies, you know. Uh-oh. You never know what it's gonna be if it's a crappie. Oh, this is a crappie. There we go. Oh, look here. That's just another little chunker one. Yeah. It's not big, but, but I mean, just a little slab. You probably could eat that, right? Good eater size. Yeah, you could eat these, so that's a good one. You only eat them one bite at a time. Oh, that's a good, good one, yeah. All right, going back in the lake there. I gotta get the secret on. So even even with the uh, bass we're catching, so these, see how little these are? They're just a, called a, a crappie niblet, right? Correct. And uh, that's it.
Made by Berkeley. Made by Berkeley Power Bank? Yeah. Now, Phil thinks that that really makes a difference, right? It, it's making the difference right now. Okay. It, it's not always the case. It's not something that I feel you always have to use. Uh -huh. Just when it gets tough like this, it just seems to help. Okay. Well, let's locate us another fish or two. The action's pretty good. I mean, if you're not catching crappies, you're catching bass. So, you know, uh, I know the angle of the sun here is going to uh, ding us on this show, but we're going to basically show you guys, you know, what we're doing and how we're, these guys are catching crappies. I'm normally bass fishing here. I never get to crappie fish, so I ran in the field and he said, well, let's go up and catch some crappies, you know, and so we brought cameraman Keith with us and uh, boy, there's a bunch of fish down there. Look at that. So I'm going to go down there. Maybe I can catch Okay, let's, there's a lot of fish on the graph here. I wonder if they're crappies or bass. You, you never know, crappies kind of stack up on, you ever notice that, Phil, they stack up on yeah. top of each other? Yeah. And uh, the bass just kind of are like here, here, and here, and here. You know, we just, we just throw it out like 10 feet, just let it go. There we go. You got another one? Ooh, that looks like a better one. Need a net on that or? Uh, I might probably swim. Uh, here, I'll grab, grab I'll grab him. Well, that's a nice cedar. That's a dandy one. That's a dandy one. Look at that. Pretty hunty. Sure are good eating. Good color. Yeah, good color. Goodbye, guy. All right, let's talk about what you think about line size. That's important, you know. Phil has a bunch of, of uh, theories about, I'm going to grab the trolling motor, about um, the size of the line. So what size line are you, do you always use? Uh, right now I'm on a four pound line. I've been fishing relatively clear water. This water is a little stained and I don't think it's as crucial. But when I'm in the really clear water, I like to go with a four pound test. Wow. I mean, and I like to stick with a fluorocarbon because I just think it's hard for them to see. Uh, as you get into more stained water, six pound would be fine. I know a lot of guys fish with eight pounds so that when they get hung up all the time, they're not retying. But I think I just like practicing. I'm using time. 10. <laughs> I'm using 10 Bass Pro Shop fluorocarbon, but we are, we are fishing in stained water, folks. I mean, it, we can only see like a foot down, foot and a half, right? Right, and I didn't think I would need the four pound, but I wasn't going to change line. No, just no, you just use that all the time, but it's a good idea, you know, that you... uh get into the quality fish, you need to net them, though. Right, oh yeah. You just don't bounce them as well with the four pound. I've dropped those, had a lot of them break off doing that. Well, we're releasing a lot of fish today, so we're all our fish, so, uh, you know, boy, that guy got me just as I threw him in. Look at that, war wounds. Yeah, and nab me twice. They got some sharp fins on they them, don't they? Sharp. Is there anything else we need to know about crappie fishing or something, you know, uh, that you could think of? Or well, you got a, oh, light action poles. Yeah, um, lighter action. I like about a six and a half or a seven foot medium, medium action pole. I'm using, I'm using one of these bass tourney rods from uh, Bass Pro Shop. Just a nice little reel. The reel's $39.95. And just a nice $39 rod. It's uh, real light. It's six, six foot. So one of the keys, I think, is just having a nice flex tip to where you can feel those subtle bites because sometimes they're not thumping it. Right. Oh yeah. The line will just get heavy, and he's just there. Yeah, kind of like a bass bite, didn't it? You know, same way. All right. Let's. They're aggressive and they're hungry, and you get that thump. There's just no doubt about it. So the key is once you. Once you locate them or you locate a couple of trees, you want to stay on it, you know, uh, stay on that bite, you know, stay in the area at least because they'll wander around that tree too, five or 10 feet outside the tree. Oh yeah, there's a bunch yeah, on the graph right now. We're just kind of drifting around, you know, I'm going to let mine go down a little deeper this time. That's 14 feet. Those little arcs. On, drop those are some nice bass arcs. Those are bass arcs too. Look at that, how they're arcing there. Oh, there's a little bite right there. Got one. Just, boy, that felt like a bluegill. Oh, it's just a little baby crappie. You got, oh, you got, you got one too? <laughs> well, you never know, it's a guessing game, isn't it? Yeah, a little bass. Oh, look, you got a little bass. 
Oh my gosh, your bass is bigger than my crappie. Look at <laughs> Little dinksters. Hey, you gotta, you gotta. You gotta weed through those. This is a, the better ones. This is the size that the game and fish talked to a couple months ago. Just a little black, black, uh, black crappie, you know. But anyway, I think they got our gist of uh, crappie fishing. I'm uh, Phil's just using straight uh, four pound test line yep. monofilament. I'm just using. Uh, I'm just using colored braid yellow, uh, 10 pound test, and then I tie a uh, three foot leader on. These are 1 16th ounce jig heads, and we're using bass assassins. So uh, this one's kind of getting wore out, but you can just rehook this thing, push it back on there a different way, and uh, just try it out, you know. And, and they'll bite like this too if you don't have the power bait, trust me. Yeah. I, yeah. You're like the first Especially one I... the bass. Uh, yeah. You're the first one I've ever seen put those little nibbles on there. I've never seen anybody use that before. And I saw them in the store and I thought, what the heck are these for? Yeah. But anyway, they're... They have their time. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's a necessity, but sometimes it, it does make the difference. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, we've, we've taken up probably a good 10, 12, 15 minutes. So I think you know, we don't have nothing else to offer. We've covered everything in this short period of time. Covered the basics. Let's go bass fishing. Well, let's go. Thank you guys for watching uh, my channel. You've been watching Fishing with Gary Sand. Hey, please subscribe to the channel if you will. And uh, till our next trip, happy crappie fishing.